Man, it must be diss track season or something, man. I feel like Grizzly is like the Oprah Winfrey of diss tracks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you get a diss track. You get a diss track. You get a diss track. I'm just kidding, man. But let's go ahead and get into this one. But first, intro. Yo, what's good, guys? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all, we are about to get into this, this long, this long-awaited, uh, this anticipated diss track that Grizzly had announced. I'm talking about, of course, the Tom McDonald uh, diss track uh, by Grizzly Hendrix. And I like how he put in parentheses, I'm not Mac Lethal. Uh, shots fired. But anyway... Uh, and then I, I I gotta admit I do like the thumbnail here. I mean this has always been Grizzly's thing when it comes to the the diss tracks. So He'll put you know the clown get up on whoever it is he's going in on. I, I see the little image of Dax. I, I I have to admit I do appreciate that little uh, Dax clown <laughs> pick that he included into this uh, into this thumbnail. And he even got the quote saying from, from Dak saying that um, Grizzly is mean. And then you got someone over here saying that Tom is so woke. And then you got someone over here that said Tom makes me feel cool. Which I know who he's who he's firing um, that shot at. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into the, this, this this track. By like in the hey, hey. Go. Full disclosure, I did get a little sneak peek on this i have not played it all the way through so this will st still technically be a reaction anyway all right please please quiet down quiet down now trolls i have a song for you tom mcdonald has some bars e -I -E -I -O. and with these bars he spits some trash damn his shit is ass I gotta admit, uh, I do like the the old McDonald parody that my man is using <laughs> on Tom McDonald. I mean, it, it makes a lot of sense. But anyway, with a trash hook here, a weak beat there. He said, "With a trash hook there and a weak, or, or a trash hook here and a weak beat there." Now look, I, I, I'll admit, you know, what I mean, do I enjoy uh, uh, a good portion of Tom's music? Absolutely, I do. Are his hooks always the best? Not necessarily. I mean, Tom definitely has his own style when it comes to hooks. I get it. They're not everyone's cup of tea. Sometimes they're they're hit hit or miss. But the one thing I always appreciated about Tom's hooks is that at least my man is trying to do something different. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're not you know the uh, same formulaic formulaic uh, hooks that you would hear in a typical rap song. My man tries to do something different. He tries to implement his own flair, his own style when it comes to hooks and everything, which I can appreciate. Again, are they always successful? No, sometimes they're not. You know what I mean? Like I said, they're very hit, hit or miss. You, you, you either like Tom's hooks or you don't. You know what I'm saying? It's really up to preference at the end of the day. But anyway, let's go ahead and get back into this. Everywhere, everywhere, please chop off my fucking ears. Damn, the world's becoming a blur when Tom McDonald stands emerge. I grew up on Nostradamus, Marshall Mathers, unlike most these nerds. So Tom is white and right. So I like how I like the the uh, shout out to to Nas, to Eminem. You know what I'm saying? Some of the dopest lyricists at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying, bro? Let's go. Words that rhyme, y'all think this guy deserves I hit to be hurt. You popping a perk, you sleeping on niggas who lie in a hurt. Fucking with token, I got some nerve. I'm all in craft, now that's absurd. And going to M, you'll die in the dirt. And yeah, your market is probably worth the white kids break. So he's, so he's calling out Tom about going, going at M and everything. To which, now look, this is something I, I will agree with on, on Grizzy. Um, I do find it suspect how Tom, you know, he bought a beat from Eminem. And he used that beat to pay homage to dude, you know what I'm saying, to say like, yeah, you you, you inspired me and everything, you know what I mean, to be a dope lyricist and do my thing or whatever. But then 
later on, Tom used um, Eminem's whole kneeling uh, deal at the Super Bowl to promote his album. And so it looked like he was, you know, basically using Eminem to promote his record. And he did it in a negative way. To me, yes, it does come off a bit flip-floppish because it's like, dude, you're praising Eminem uh, one minute, you know, you in in you're you're paying homage to him, you're 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 thanking him for being an inspiration to you, but then later on, you use him as, as a butt of a joke, you know what I'm saying, with the whole kneeling thing and him supporting BLM and all that by calling him Black Lives Mathers. You know what I mean? To, again, promote um, the record that he did with, with ACAL um, called, you know, I believe it was called The Brave, which I still haven't heard yet. Um, and there's a reason for that. But anyway, yeah, I, I, I do find it strange, you know what I mean? That, that you know, and, and, a, and a bit flip-floppish with the way that he's been treating Eminem, but... That's just my opinion alone. You guys are more than welcome to agree and or disagree. It is all good either way. But anyway, let's get back into this. Yeah, some, some, some of the songs, I mean, look. I get it. Tom is a very controversial figure. I mean, he's one of those guys that, you know, he tackles a lot of controversial subjects. Talks about, you know, the, the whole race baiting, race war um, stuff. You know what I mean? About how, yes, white people, especially in today's day and age, they get, you know, a lot of people uh, uh, depict them in a, such a negative light. Talking about this whole white privilege thing and whatnot. But, but yet... Tom has always been the guy who, who, who speaks on, on stuff like that. Because I mean, if he's not gonna, I mean, who else is, you know what I'm saying? Because look, I don't care who you are, what skin, what your skin tone is, what your background is. No one deserves to be, you know, discriminated against. No one, you know, deserves to be judged for the color of their skin. Again, I don't care who you are, white, black, it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and it's not just black lives that matter. It's not just white lives that matter. To me, it's all lives matter. You know what I'm saying? And I know by saying that, that's controversial. People are like, oh, you know, you you, you one of them. So it's, like, it's like, yeah, look, I, I, I'm a, I'm a pro-life person. I believe that, you know, yes, everyone on on this earth matters. Unless, unless you're, are, you, are, you are a cuties fan or you know, some, you know, some, some evil person, and, and let's not forget, evil does not discriminate, um, does not discriminate when it comes to, um, when it comes to skin color, you know what I mean, Any, anyone, regardless of skin tone, regardless of background, whatever the case, is capable of doing horrible things, so if evil doesn't, uh, discriminate, why should love discriminate? Something to think about right there, anyway, let's get back into it. Your concept flip the script and show you how to rap If I was white, I'd be Tom McDonald with better balls on better tracks If I was white, I would use my white privilege to get ahead and cap Head and cap, never mind that And see, and this is something that I disagree with, with, with Grizzy on Now look, just because I disagree with, 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 uh, with, with uh, Grizzy on what I'm about to get into That doesn't mean uh, I have any animosity towards the dude No, look I respect Grizzly's 1A right, you know what I'm saying? He he's a warm-blooded American just like I am and therefore he's entitled to his to his views, to his opinion, you know what I'm saying? And I will fight to the death for his right to say whatever he wants to say. He's allowed. He's he he's permitted again by the constitution, by the first amendment. You know what I'm saying? And but I have to disagree with this whole white privilege thing. It's not really a white privilege thing. You know, it's an American privilege thing. You know what I'm saying? We're all allowed to our opinions, our views and everything, you know. Um, and right now, I, I fail to see how, how white folks are really, you know, privileged. Because, again, if unless you've been hiding under a rock and stuff, you know what I mean? White folks are being censored more than other people right now. Don't believe me? I mean... Uh, I've said this before in past videos. 
I may catch a lot of heat for this, but I mean, I like to keep that transparency with y'all. And again, this is just my views, my opinions, you know what I'm saying? To which I'm also entitled to, by the way. You know what I mean? You want me to respect your rights? You got to respect mine as well. You know what I'm saying? We can we, we can disagree on some things, but we can still love each other. We can still respect each other. I've always stand by that as well. But anyway, the white folks don't really have as much privilege as a lot of people may think. You know, more often than not, they tend to get canceled more than minorities. Look, look at, look at, look at, um, black folks on social media. Y'all can say whatever you want. Y'all can drop M bombs. Y'all can can say whatever you want in regards to white people, nothing's going to happen to y'all. You guys you, you guys are the most protected right now on social media. Hell, throughout the decades, feel free to feel free to fact check me on this if I'm wrong. Throughout throughout the uh, decades on television, you guys can say whatever you want about white people and no one's going to cancel the, the the BET network. No one's going to cancel a a black sitcom show. Look at Family Matters. Look how long that show ran. You know what I'm saying? Look at look at any any other uh, show that features a, a black family. You know what I mean? Again, you can say whatever you want by everyone else. Nothing's going to happen to y'all. You, you guys are good. You guys are safe. So who's more privileged at the end of the day? It ain't white folks. I'll tell you that much. Because if that were true, white folks will say whatever they want about anybody that doesn't look like them. And they wouldn't have to worry about being canceled. Now tell me where I lied. Again. E again, you know, evil doesn't discriminate against skin tone. So why should love? Why should anything else discriminate? I'm just saying. Bruh. Think about it. That's a punch line for your simple ass. If I was white, I would get a gimmick this start spitting and try to find a fan base, get my hair dyed. Hot pink girl going wild. They gon' eat it up, they gon' all smile. Like look at Tom, he's on top. That's our guy to the day I die. And you wonder why I even apply. Man can see how you would rise. You an industry plan, probably sign. That's white privilege. If you ain't know well, mother And here's another thing too, uh, cause Grizzly's saying that uh Tom is an industry plant. Do I feel like Tom is an industry plant? Um, well, based off of, like, based from the comments that I tend to get from Hog Fam for whenever, for whenever, God forbid, I should discri uh, discriminate, <laughs> I should disagree with Tom on some things, because look, I don't always agree with Tom on everything, I do agree with his pro-American, pro-America stances, as far as, like, being pro-Constitution, being pro uh, free speech and what have you. I do agree with that stuff, but then there's other things that Tom does and says that I don't uh, agree with. And and there I disagree with the guy. I get bombarded from you know a hog fam saying like, oh you know you 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 just you just don't like Tom or whatever blah blah blah. You just jealous or whatever blah blah blah. I get those those stupid hateful um, cliche comments from haters from trolls. You know what I'm saying? Who think that I hate Tom and and whatnot and it's like dude i don't hate the guy it's just look i'm not gonna agree with him on everything some things i do agree with some things i don't and if you can't let me look at tom objectively you know what i'm saying if you can't let me disagree with him on some things well then guess what i'm not gonna re react to your favorite artist anymore you know what i'm saying because and, and and the hog fam have nobody to thank but themselves you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day i feel like these tom these hog fam they're freaking bots. They all say the same thing. I've had bots tell me uh, some some bullshit like like oh uh, I don't like how you know you call them out on this or call them out on that, and then you use your platform to promote your own shit. Uh, it's my channel. I could say whatever I want. I could do whatever I want, and I'll promote whatever I want. It's my channel. You don't like it? You know where the door is. And I find it ironic how your favorite rapper who talks about being pro constitution pro first amendment you know what i'm saying i find it ironic that his fan base have issues with what i have to say you know what i'm saying they want they want to shut me up by, by controlling what what i'm allowed to say about dude and what i'm not allowed to say about dude that's not very pro constitution if you ask me that's not very pro 1a if you ask me you know what I'm saying? So how are you gonna call yourself a Tom fan? How are you gonna call yourself Hog Fam when you're not practicing 
what your favorite artist is preaching. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't let anybody slide with bullshit on this channel. You know what I'm saying? I call out bullshit when I see it. I call out bullshit when I hear it. And I don't care who you are, what you look like, whether you're my favorite artist or not. I don't care. I will call out bullshit when I hear it. I will call out bullshit when I see it. And if you got a problem with that, again, y'all know where the damn door is. Fucking you know now. What to believe when everyone and everything is not what it seems. And most of y'all living in make believe. Grizzy, I love you, bro. I do. I'm a fan. But I'm not a fan of singing in diss tracks, man. I'm sorry, but I have to knock points for that. I have to knock points for the whole white privilege thing, too. Look at the world, it's falling apart and part of us needs something and someone that might be your you. It's a big difference when you a nigga and you in the hood around straight killers. Painted nails, they ain't rocking with it. Hell nah, no, they ain't rocking with it. I just figured you'd be bright enough to see the bigger picture. I ain't being bitter. Go and get your money being independent, but benefiting off of blacks. Really, it's controversy. It ain't physics. Same thing. Now, he said something about painted nails and stuff. Now, look. I don't care what people do with their nails because at the end of the day, it's their nails and not mine. You know what I mean? So I feel like, oh, I'm going to catch a lot of heat for this one. But, hey, I got to keep it 100, man. But I feel like little little digs like that, little shots like that are, are petty. You know what I'm saying? And I know Grizzly is one of those kind of kind of artists that, you know what I mean? Hey, here for the pettiness, whatever, I'm going to fire my, my, my little shots. So, hey, do you think, man? Like I said, man, I... The, the man is entitled to his First Amendment right, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, I will fight to the death to defend uh, his right to say whatever he wants to say. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But I, I, I don't agree with the whole paint and nails thing because, again, I don't care what people do with their nails. And, again, that's just me. That's just my stance. You're more than welcome to agree and or disagree. We don't got to hate each other. It's cool to disagree, but we don't got to hate each other over it. You know what I'm saying? There's already enough division in this country as is. Why add to it? You know what I mean? But anyway, it's just I'm a nigga. It's not a riddle. Double standards. I'm in my feelings. They won't feel this, but I'm feeling been a realist. Top tier list. I'm a killer. I'm a killer. Drop killer. Don't pause. Never feel it. Your hooks is trash. The beats is whack. Compared to Mac, your balls are bad. You're in the box with Dax's ass, and I just laugh at half the cast. Okay, okay. Again, um, he's totally entitled to his opinion. And again, going towards uh, going in on Tom's hooks. Again, I understand where people are coming from. Tom's hooks, yes, they are hit, 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 hit or miss. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I personally feel like some of his hooks are dope, and yes, I can agree. Some of his hooks, eh, they lead a lot to be desired. You know what I'm saying? A again, you either like his hooks or you don't, man. It's totally up to you. You know what I mean? We all have our preferences when it comes to, you know, certain styles and. In, in hooks and just or overall styles and music and whatnot you know what i'm saying ain't no right or wrong when it comes to that so that right there again it's a matter of, of opinion and that doesn't bother me you know what i mean anyway i really think your shit is gas smash your pass your bitch is bad i tap that ass and after that smack your ass with a maxi pad what to believe when everyone and everything is not what it seems And most of y'all living in make-believe Look at the world, it's falling apart and part of us needs something And someone that might be your hero Look, McDonald, I'll be honest, most of the shit you drop is garbage Put your rhyme book in the closet, throw away the key and hide it Think I reached out to you once because my fans told me to holler We could make a banger, then I heard your shit and knock a vomit With all the marketing dollars, invest in some porta potties Cause you won't need them with all of that corny shit you've been dropping A monster, a straight goblin, and not even God can stop me I'll pick apart you and leave, no post ID to bottom I'm more John Gotti than Gandhi, I want all of the problems All of the smoke, cause I'm with the violence you could trick these other sheep and make them think your rhyming is really hotter than sinus But sonically, no head talking your shit ain't nothing to bop with This isn't even me trying Alright, so what I'm hearing right here is is It's just a matter of, of, of opinion Like, okay, your stuff is trash um, Again, your hooks are not that great um, your, 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 the, your beat selections are, are weak and all this and that Again, it's just a matter of, of of opinion. But what I'm not hearing though is, um, some like some like some arguments, some some counterpoints to the things that Tom addresses. You know what I mean? It's just 
uh, all I'm hearing is like, yeah, you put out this this stuff about, oh, what, what if I were black? You know what I mean? And, um, you know, white boy and all this other stuff. And I'm just not feeling it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, that's cool. But it's like, but did Tom say anything in those songs that is wrong? And if so, what will be your counterpoints to the points he's making into these songs? I would love to hear Grizzy kind of you know dive into those into those um into those little um debates if you will you know what i mean to like okay if what tom is saying is wrong then wh where, where is he wrong you know um now i know some are probably gonna say in the comments well he he addressed the whole white privilege thing and, and but see that's to me that's a weak argument because again if you've been if you've been paying attention to like the news and what's what's going on in, in today's current political climate, you'll know white folks are, are the least privileged right now. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Anyway. But I know deep down you lying. Hakuna Matata's way this is simple finding his father. Stampeded Demi Mufasa. This the Tala from Wakanda versus Biden in Rwanda. This is Matulu first Columbus, a colonizer. Taking over an island while smiling, but I don't buy it. Y'all all blinded. Can't you see the simple assignment? Fine, I simplify it. Show you just how we toss the sway your logic. Fix your optics in Times College. Cliche topics, heady drops, and I ain't knocking a hustle. But Hokey's watching, and I got to someone stop him. All that money done got you popping. Johnny Cochran, catch a product of naive teens thinking it's fire. The gas price is rising, the government wants a silent. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Damn, I can't believe I snorted a little bit. But anyway, yeah, see, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, when Tom was first coming up, yes, he was on and popping. Lately, I feel like a lot of the stuff that he's been dropping lately, and I'm probably going to get bombarded from, from uh, hog trolls, and that's fine. I mean, I really don't give a shit at this point. They can do what they want. Um, a lot of the uh, stuff he's coming out with now, it's a bit more, uh, what's the word? Um uh repetitive you know what i mean especially his pro america stuff he's saying the same things over and over and over and over again to the point where it's like okay i hear you on the, on, on on the political side of things i hear you on the pro america side of things but when that when, when, when that becomes your whole um your 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 whole style of music that, that you want to put out if you want to look at it as that if that's all you're going to be putting out from here on out then um you basically become a one trick pony you know what i'm saying and you're really not as skilled as you like to think that you are now people are going to argue like well look at his followings look at his numbers and stuff that's fine but here's the thing about that when you when, when your time comes you can't take that with you you know what i'm saying what you leave behind, your legacy, you know what I'm saying? That's something that's going to be everlasting even after after you 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 leave this earth. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the, the whole numbers and, and, and whatnot, that's not going to matter when, when his time comes. You know what I'm saying? What's going to matter is, you know, the, his message and the stuff that he leaves behind as far as like his music is concerned. When... when all you're putting out is more political stuff, more political stuff. You know what I mean? And it's the same stuff, you know, over and over and over and over, and over and over again. Eventually, people are going to get tired of the shit and are going to walk away because that's all you have. That's all you have. I want to hear more of what Tom will put out before. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to hear more stuff than just political stuff. Like, what else do you got? What else do you have to offer? What else can can you can you tell us? And that's why I haven't really been reacting to a whole lot, lot a lot of Tom lately. It's because it's the same stuff over and over again. And I'm just tired of hearing the same thing over and over again. You know what I mean? The definition of of, of uh insanity is doing the same thing over and over again running that that same hamster wheel you're doing the same thing over and over again you know what i mean expecting different results every time that's insanity bruh let's go time is so woke with undeniable knowledge fuck off and wait can i sign up with hog owners it's the guy making america great we all goners like pearl harbor catch this fade tiki barber ball for ball my flow harder so you're talking about making america great but we all goners well 
I mean, yes, we are going through some tough times right now. Yes, we are going through some, some scary times right now. This is a time of uncertainty. However, you know, I mean, I'm I'm not someone who likes to look at things, you know, what I mean, in a in a doom and gloom uh, viewpoint, you know what I'm saying? Um, that, but again, see, this, this is just me speaking from my, my perspective, you know what I'm saying? And again, if you're not cool with that, again, you know where, where the uh, door is. Uh, I, I like to look at things, you know, with a great deal of optimism. I feel like things will turn around for the better. Things will get better for all of us. You know what I'm saying? It just, it takes time. You know what I mean? In order for us to reach that promised land, in order for us to see that light at the end of the tunnel we sometimes we, we got to go through through uh darkness in order to appreciate the uh the good times that that may come our way you know what i'm saying bruh it is what it is but anyway let's go ahead and get back into this let's go ahead and finish this off because this is a long this it's like a little over six minutes Straight horror, artist the artist, he's just a novice, kicking nonsense. But regardless, you might be father, but retarded. Must be Amish songs, he brewing, straight doodle. So high on a rival, ah. nigga. All these weak ass rappers in the game is fucking running shit. I guess the OG fumbled it. How they let it come to this? Gotta keep it a honey, that's why me and Ailish. And again, he's going back to. And, and I can't help but feel like. You know, this diss track, look, again, I love Grizzly Hendrix. I really do. But I feel like this diss, it, 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 it's a bit of a letdown. It's a bit of a disappointment because I feel like he's recycling through some things um, throughout this diss. I mean, if you really go back and listen to what he's saying, he's recycling through some things. Again, he's going back to the whole, you know, the stuff that he, that Tom's putting out lately is, is garbage, is, is doo-doo and all this and that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. Fair enough. I, I, I get that. And I will admit, I have admitted, you know what I mean? Yes, the stuff that he's been putting out lately has been subpar because it's the same things that we've heard over and over again, time and time again. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, I would like to hear Tom, you know, expand on, you know, you know, on, on, on some things when it comes to his music. But at the end of the day, it's, you know, just like Grizzy, just like me, Tom two is also entitled you know what i'm saying tom as well he's also entitled to say whatever he wants to say and do whatever he wants to do you know what i mean that's that's his right as an american citizen you know what i mean but and you, you can you, you're either riding with it or you're not riding with it ultimately at the end of the day that's that's up to each and every single one of us as individuals anyway Struggling, hustling, budgeting, plus marketing while juggling. It's like shit, like fucking man, we gon' have to have all the other plans. My fucking brand always winning against them antics and mumbling. I'm wondering what would have been or could have been if I was sucking dick with an inner free. Love my shit, I know it's all fake relationships. I never ever could relate to this. What do fake niggas always gotta win? So I gotta blend in just to get funk flexed. Remember, had I not, if you guys watched my last, you know, Grizzy Hendrix diss where he was dissing No Life Shack, well, I've also called out Screwface in my reactions to his disses. You know what I mean? Um, I I've never been a fan of 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 diss tracks having having lyrics where it sounds like you're playing the uh, the uh, race card because to me the race card is is the is one is one of the many victim cards that you can play. And my whole thing is when you go that route and you're playing the victim card, victims never win battles. Victims never win wars. You know what I'm saying? So to go the whole, you know, race route with the whole white privilege thing, I mean, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? I, again, I don't care who you are, but when you when you play that card, to me, I feel like you you shoot yourself in the foot and you've lost this battle. I said the same thing for, for, for Screw. Whenever Screw would diss a white rapper, you know what I mean? Because it's always a given. Whenever he puts out a diss track towards a white rapper, he always goes, he always plays the race card. He always plays the victim card. I'll call out Lucid. Lucid, who's a white rapper, when he had his back and forth with Koofies, and he tried to make Koofies look like he was a racist, I called Lucid out on that, and I gave him an L. So, again, as much as I love Grizzy, I gotta be honest, I gotta be fair, I gotta be objective, and I have to say that this, this track, it gets an L. We're gonna finish it, but I feel like my man gets an L for this one. Anyway. Get my shit a spin, man, fuck rap, I'll push crack, don't get mad, y'all love trash Don't switch up on me now, nigga Like a transgender, I know the deal, I know it's real, I never chill I'm in the field, I know the skill, don't pay the bills, my destiny Gon' give me meals, I need a 
the mail, my stomach rumbling, wondering when I'ma give me some money, I'm gonna spend. Rubber bands around hundred bricks, all I need is a hundred bricks, hundred guns, hundred clips, rubber bands and money machines. This shit way too easy, I do this in my sleep, please. I might just make you go viral, nobody can see me. I put your face up on a T and that shit gon' say R.I.P. to make that shit up in a T. I think I got OCD. I don't even. Talking about making those, those, those t-shirts, you know what I mean? Like those, um, what is it? Like when, when someone passes away, you put their face on a t-shirt. It's, um, fuck, I forgot what they call them. But anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about, though. You can talk about putting Tom's face on a t-shirt, putting R.I.P. and all that stuff. Bruh. <laughs> I mean, if you got the funds to do it, go ahead and do it, man. Don't, don't let me stop you. Anyway. And understand just why I fell in love with this I can't even fathom it Nobody in this business real Again, more more singing in, in the in the diss track Which, I'm sorry, but I, I don't think singing belongs in a diss track that, That's just me, though It's all entertainment And that's just what it is All this shit is fake, nigga It's all fucking fake None of it's And that's just what it is. All right, y'all. So that was Grizzy Hendrix with his Tom McDonald diss. And again, he wants to remind us all that he is not Mac Lethal. <laughs> Bruh. Um. So look, my overall thoughts on this. Look, out of love and respect for my dude, I'll give him a, a like. You know what I'm saying? You know, for for support. But here's my overall final thoughts. Um, between this one and his No Light Shack disc, I feel like the No Light Shack disc is the better disc because he was able to address more things, you know what I mean, in, in, in regards to Shaq than he was here with Tom. With Tom, I feel like um, some of it, uh, it was a, it was a bit race baity in the fact that he was, a, he, he basically was trying to call Tom for his, his white privilege, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm sorry, but that to me came off a bit race baity just my opinion you guys can look at it however you want you know what i'm saying um and then i felt like um grizzy uh kept falling back there was a lot of filler filler stuff in here like the whole like all oh, you know his stuff is weak it's it's trash it's doo-doo and all this and that um and it, it's disappointing for me to pick apart this diss track because again i i love grizzy stuff you know what i mean the guy is very talented you know what I mean? He is a, a, a dope lyricist, but I felt like we didn't really get that with this one. You know what I mean? This one to me, it feels hollow. It feels it feels a little a little cheap. You know what I mean? And again, it pains me to say that, man, because because you know what I mean, because I know my man could do better than this. I know he, he could have came out with something better than this, you know. But again, that's just me. And um, it's no hate on the dude, but again, I got to be honest. I got to be fair. I got to be objective. You know what I'm saying? I can't give everything that the man does a W. You know what I mean? Especially if I'm not feeling it in here. You know what I mean? So I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling this one. I feel like he, he could have done a lot more things with the diss track to get that, that more desirable effect. Um, there was some some miss opportunities um because i felt like he didn't really address a lot of the things that tom would, would talk about you know what i mean in his more political based songs um <clears throat> some things though I, I i will say this much there were some things i do agree with i do agree that a lot of tom's newer stuff it's not as good as his older stuff because again the guy comes off as a one-trick pony releasing a political message after political message after political message and no matter how you look at it if you go and look look at tom's recent stuff especially all his political songs he's really saying the same things over and over it's it just it sounds like a different song because oh it's a different beat and he just worded things differently but really when you look at his all his political stuff he's saying the same things over and over and over again uh, calling out the the uh, system calling out the uh, government you know what i mean calling out you know the woke community if you will 
for their for their uh, hi um, hypocrisy and stuff like that. You know what I mean? All of which I do agree with, but even I can admit, you know what I'm saying? You know, as someone who, who does enjoy Tom's music, yes, it, it is very, you know, repetitive. He's saying the same shit over and over again. You know what I'm saying? But again, at the same time, the man is entitled to do whatever he wants, to say whatever he wants, just as Grizzly is and just as I am. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, but I mean, I have to give this diss track an L. Grizzly, please don't take it personal. It's nothing personal. I just feel like you, you could have done a lot more with this. You know what I mean? And there was just a lot of filler in it. You know what I mean? And it pains me to say that about your diss because, you know what I mean, I've heard a lot of your stuff. I was introduced to you by my by my cousin. Um, my introduction to Grizzly was the um, the whole Dear Shady thing, where it was like the follow up. It was like a, a, a sequel track to uh, Eminem Stan. Um, <clears throat> you listen to that stuff, you know, from back then compared to now. I feel like, you know what I mean. Like I feel like Gr Grizzly can do a lot more. You know what I'm saying with with, with his skill set and everything. I feel like. You know, this doesn't really do a good job showcasing uh, showcasing Gr Grizzly's uh, skill set. But again, that's just me at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Feel free to leave, leave your feedback in the comment section down below. We can definitely rap about this. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's keep it civil. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, because, you know, it's no hate at the end of the day. You know what I mean? I just feel like my man could have done way more. You know what I mean? Because, again, he's a talented dude. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. Yeah. Again, I just feel like this didn't do a good job showing off his skill set. I feel like Grizzly is a lot better than this. You know what I mean? I know he can do better than this. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All love, all respect. You know what I'm saying? So, let, please, let, let's keep it civil. Let's keep it, you know, respectful in the comment section down below. Like I said, we can definitely talk about it. You know what I mean? Let me know. Are you guys with it? Are you not with it? And please give your reasons why. Why you're with it and why you're not with it. You know what I'm saying? Again, we're all entitled at the end of the day to our views, to our opinions. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we don't need to come at each other sideways. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, there's already enough division in this country as is. Why add to it? You know what I mean? Bruh. All right, y'all. Pretty much all I got to say about that. Um, Y'all y'all know the deal. If you're feeling the vibes here, subscribe. Uh, make sure you turn your bell notifications on. Again, leave your feedback in the comment section down below. If you're with this reaction... Y'all know to do that thumbs up down below. If you're not with it, you disagree, you're more than welcome to hit that thumbs down too. It's all good at the end of the day. It's all engagement. It all helps with the algorithm. So, uh, yeah. Don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the video description down below. That would be very much appreciated. And until the next one, y'all have a blessed one. All right. Peace.